motherfuck bitch. I keep forgetting to remind y'all to leave a like and a comment on the video because that is the thing that is going to help me out the most. Uh, make sure to tell me how your quarantine is going. And what to do? Finally back recording. It's been a while since I recorded a video actually because the videos I've been uploading were from the end of March. The reason for that is that uh, I've been actually streaming for 10 hours every single day since the end of uh, March since the uh, quote-unquote official lockdown in Russia as well because I can't really go out for my business stuff, I can't jog anymore and uh, that's why I'm just, I decided to uh, grind this out in streams, streams have been doing really well if you want to see me uh, for 10 hours a day, I'm still continuing this particular thing because uh, some of my other works and working projects have been a little bit uh, put on hold, obviously it makes sense so yeah, go to the link in the description, join the Twitch I'm here quarantined with your girl, so you know we're, uh, you'll be able to at least see your girl on those streams, you know what I mean? Because obviously lockdown and all that. Also we have a Mafia tournament going on, and uh, if you want to sign up for the Mafia tournament then you definitely should check out the Discord. Uh, we were going to end the signups on the 20th of April, but I didn't provide enough information, I'm going to make a video about that. Uh, if you want to join, it depend. It will be either 32 or 64 people, depending on how many entries we have. It will be a tournament that will involve, will be a Pokemon Showdown tournament involving different um, formats, and the formats will be uh, Smogun OU, VGC, Doubles OU, RU, and UU. So we have five formats, and they will be played. Uh, there's an interesting system me and Diagnostic decided to implement in this tournament, so you definitely might want to uh, check it out. It's something that no other tournament has ever has ever had, and it's going to be a uh, prelude for the league, the returnment, the returning of the league. In um, the league is going to return before the DLC comes out. Well, at the time the DLC comes out. Uh, anyways, without anything else. Let's get into the video, finally. Uh, what's poppin'? It's your boy Young Burn Borsch, aka Young Vladimir Putin, nobody wants beef. It's a little bit bright outside, even though I do have finally a lamp in front of me. But you can barely see me. This is pretty much, uh, I'm recording this at the time where Melmetal should be already banned, but uh, I guess Showdown didn't implement it yet. So I have a team with Melmetal, I obviously wanted to bring you a live with Melmetal, but just really couldn't, wasn't, didn't have time to record at all. I kinda like this team. I fucking hate OU right now. It's such a bitch tier with fucking teleport, teleport Clefable. And it's gonna get even worse because Chansey with teleport. Imagine Chansey with fucking teleport, bro. And it does get teleport. Then we have uh, Slowbro with teleport coming in the DLC. So it doesn't look to get better. Stole is incredibly annoying right now, even though I respect Stole as a playstyle. But um, it's so difficult to break through the stuff with what we have given. And we don't have the strong enough breakers as of yet. But, um, yeah, what can I say? Melmetal is going to be banned, even though I kind of enjoyed using it. Uh, this, I feel like this this particular team setup is might, might be one of the best ones to be able to uh, have quick games. Even though uh, it's, it's a cool brain exercise to have, like, long games and, you know, all those mind games and whatnot. But I'm not willing to sit through 150 turn games, and I've seen games like this, I've uh, engaged in game games like this, I don't want to waste one hour on one game and then lose it to fucking like two, three turns of hacks or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I decided to go with this team, it's really powerful, It's it has been given to me by uh, AU Plays, Rick, my boy, but uh, he, he, has, he has had some weird Pokemon on that team to be honest, so... Uh, this is a Spec Speloper we're running. Spec Speloper seems to be an amazingly strong breaker. It, um, it, is, it is so good. I don't know why, but it's phenomenal right now. Hurricane Spam, fucking Hydro Pump. Weather Ball is a cool tech for other weather, weathers and all that stuff. Obviously U-Turn. Then we have Seismitoad. There used to be a Spec Seismitoad. Spec's Timid Seismitoad with Swift Swim. But I don't think that's good enough, to be honest. Life Orb, Modest, is pretty much enough. Is, is all that you need. And I used to have Surf. I decided to put Grass Knot. Just for better matchups against opposing uh, Seismitoad. Um, Mandibuzz used to have knockoff, I really like foul play on Mandibus to be honest, so I decided to go with this particular uh, set, obviously good for defog, just a good pivot, mostly into um, a good, good switching into special Dragapult, all that stuff, just Dragapult in general. Then this mill metal used to be sub toxic, but I, I really like the choice bend, the power of choice bend, we have Darkest Larian for Aegislash, Thunder Punch for stuff like um, 
uh, Corviknight. Toxapex as well because I couldn't fit Earthquake on it. Super Power is very much needed for like Ferrothorn and stuff. Everything else just gets annihilated by a double Iron Bash. I guess it's only Rotom Heat that switches well into it, but it still takes a lot. Then we have Zerora. This used to be a four attacks. It's lefty Zerora with play rough and grass knot but i decided to change it up i bulk up is kind of nice for late game cleaning life orb just for damage and i decided to replace grass knot with knockoff uh knockoff being very important especially uh against the uh, dragapult and stuff even though you could use play rough against that as well but uh, i kind of like knockoff to get rid of the items and the reason for getting rid of the grass knot here i decided to put it on seismic ted and also I decided to put Power Whip instead of Protect on this Ferrothorn. Protect is always nice, but uh, Ferrothorn with Power Whip, with two attacks, actually helped me out a lot in some of the matchups. Like, I've used this team, I won't say quite a bit, I haven't played enough OU lately, but I do really want to get back to playing a lot more OU. Anyways, I've been talking for way too long, this is just a quick explanation of the team. You can find this team, I will post this team in the uh, Discord in uh, team building section. And uh, yeah, it says still suspect testing, so that's pretty nice. Looking at his team, Melmetal shits on this guy big time. Uh, Cinderace is a little bit annoying, even though it's a bit strange to hear about Cinderace in a uh, rain team. I will be able to switch in with Pelipper into Cinderace pretty easily. Uh, Hydreigon, not an issue at all, especially that since we have Mandibuzz. Again, Melmetal just shits on him, it's only the Corviknight that we have to honestly deal with uh, well enough. I'd say I honestly want to lead... I would like to lead Pelipper, but in case he leads Zeror and stuff, I, I might just go with Melmetal and say fuck it. Because double Iron Bash will do a lot of damage in anything. If he lives with Hataren, for example, then I will be able to uh, hit Corviknight with a Thunder Punch on the switch and there's no way. Or even Seismited. See, I could actually, I'm kind of tempted to lead Pelipper, but I just don't, wanna, don't want him to lead Zeror. If he leads Zeror though, I can try to switch in the Seismited. Or even Ferrothorn is like a mid-ground play. So let's actually go with Pelipper. Let's see. He leads Hydreigon. A little bit annoying, not gonna lie. Especially if it's Specs, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Uh, I guess it's good against my team. So why not leave with it? I have to go into Mandibuzz, even though he might just U-turn out. But uh, I will take the Draco Meteor. Crits me, of course. Of course. I'm not even surprised. The first thing I do in a video is get crit. Makes sense. Pretty much makes sense. Zerora comes out. Uh... Possibly a prediction of my seismitoad could be the case, so I don't want to necessarily switch it into a uh, grass knot. This is why we will go into Ferrothorn this time and uh, see what, what happens. He actually knocks off, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, some sort of prediction was gonna be made regardless, but that's fine. I don't want to gyrobo the Hatteran too much, and I don't think. I don't think. Um, what's it called? I really do not think that uh, Close Combat is going to come out. So I'm actually going to double switch into Melmetal. We catch the Hatteran on the switch in. You're a madman if you go Seismited. I just want to Thunder Punch the incoming Corviknight. If you go Seismited, then so, like, whatever. I guess good. I mean, I, Double Iron Bash will do so much damage to Seismited. It's definitely going to do less to Corviknight. I could Darkest Larian, but it's not going to do shit. Corviknight will take over half from that. Does he, or does he even, does he stay in, bro? He takes a while. He takes a while. Should I just double Iron Bash and say, fuck it? I have a good switching into Corvo Knight regardless. So let's just double Iron Bash. Uh, yeah, let's click double Iron Bash, fuck it. He's taking a bit of a while, bro. I don't know. Cinderace. Bruh. To a kid. Fucking, I didn't get the... Of course I get 51 and 48, bruh. Of course, bruh. What can I say, bruh? All I can say is, bruh. I'm gonna go into Pelipper. It's incredible that he gave me the Cinderace. It means that I will be able to uh, um, get up my hazards. Well, not with the Hatran, of course. I'm going to just U-turn out as he U-turns crits me. Bro, what is going on? Masuda, are you serious right now? Masuda, are you, like, literally kidding me, bro? Why are you doing this shit to me? Seismated. Damn it, bro. It's not in the range of Seismated yet. Is this Scarf, though? Feels like a disc Scarf. We're going to make a test. If I go into Zero War and he stays in, I think it will be Scarfed. So I'm going to switch into Mandibuzz and see what his reaction is. So let's bait out some sort of play from him. And he stays in and Draco Meteors. Misses, which is obviously deserved, but I already got hacked three times today, bro. 
he actually decided to just throw a Draco in my fucking face. But that's okay, because we get enough damage now to the point where Seismited will be able to attack it. Look, I do want to... Because I would speed the Seismited regardless, if in, in case it comes in. I want to just go for Hydro Pump. I'm not fearing the Seismited to come out. He goes in ahead Ran, which is going to get almost a night. Well, not almost. It's actually going to get one heck KO'd. That is incredible. He thought I'm going to set up Rax, which is very strange, bro. I have a Rain Team, bro. What are you doing, my guy? What are you doing, my guy? My guy, my guy. This is not the play, my guy. Well, does Grass not... Grass not has to kill, bro. I'm fucking life for, bro. Of course, dead. Haha, <laughs> incredible. C'est incroyable, as they would say in France. And this guy just forfeits. I mean, makes sense. This wasn't the best player. I have decayed a little bit. Um, we used to be almost 1800 on this account. Now I'm just, uh, just a little bit above 1600. Still fine... Uh, fine ladder placement for bringing videos because people know what they're doing but this guy was clearly not uh, not uh... not up for the task to say the least I got cucumbers I got bitches under my desk right now life is good looking good I'm facing an opposing male metal and fucking webs I mean not webs Aurora Veil. And this is a very annoying matchup. This has to be bulk up Corviknight. Clefable. Fucking Diggersby, bro. Diggersby might shit on me hard. Pause. Sesmited is Rax. I don't want to get a little Ninetales lead. Freeze Dry threatens my whole fucking team. I have to lead Melmetal. If he leads Seismitad, it will be really annoying. But I don't think he leads Seismitad. There's no way he leads Seismitad. I might just lead actually Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is incredible against this team. Nine tells Alola. That is perfect. I'll take it 100% because I will be going for the Gyro Bowl. Um, matter of fact is, if he switches into one of these, which is the Corvic Knight, that will be fine. What I can do, I'm expecting some sort of does he try to set up right away? Defog, like I don't want to get the rocks up just yet. I might leech seed and switch in Pelipper. Let's see what happens. He U-turns. Takes damage. Incredible. What is your answer to Ferrothorn, bro? Ferrothorn shits on your whole life, my guy. Ferrothorn pulls down its pants. Crouches. Above your life. Squats onto your life. Mmm, that's a nice tea, bro. This is the first time I'm drinking tea as well. What? What is this supposed to mean, bruh? I'm just gonna get up my hazards, honestly. Yeah, he goes in the back into Corvic Knight. Right here. It's gonna defog or roost. I bring in Pelipper. And I'll get a juicy. A very juicy. He might bring in his Ninetales, or Seismited. Hmm. I don't want to hurricane the Ninetales in the hail, you know what I'm saying? But I will go for it. Seismited comes out, perfect. Was hit it with Specs Hurricane, as I told you, Pelipper is a phenomenal breaker. I'm going to do a KO the Seismited, and if he goes into Ninetales, there is a chance we also... He goes into Clefable, bro, you're gonna take fucking same... Oh, this is very specially defensive. I get the confusion though, which is incredible. I'm gonna go for the hurricane again then. He hits himself in confusion, which is incredible once again. And uh, we just kill the Clefable. Easy as it is. For the last game hacks, getting rid of Clefable is incredible because it's such a brain dead Pokemon. It's so annoying to play against, I swear to God. Melmetal can really come out on Mandibuzz. I mean, Corvac Knight. He gets the veil up now, which is unfortunate. But I will go into Pharaoh. I mean, we have weakened this team really well. Domlet Jose, this is not the right thing to do for you, my guy. What is this move? Oh, it's fucking lefties. Oh, no. Not this set, bro. Not this set. Not like these. Not like these. I was gonna clean with Seismited. But I feel like I need to sacrifice my Seismitid 
to not letting it get subs up and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Gojin do his own seismic head. What did he expect? Did he expect Pelipper? I'm just gonna grass not finish it off. Screens, no screens, I don't give a motherfuck. Seismic head goes down. Diggersby is a little bit worrying, but as long as we have Ferrothorn, we're good. Should I bring in the Melmetal? I don't want to bring in the Melmetal because of the Corphic Knight. And because of the screen that he has. Ferrothorn is always a safe switch, and unless he Hypnosis is, but he just goes for three right. Yo, that does damage, what the hell. We know that he's Light Clay, which is good to know. I'm just gonna Leech Seed again. He keeps freeze drying, sure. I might double Leech Seed here, honestly. I might double Leech Seed because the switch is very obvious. There's no way he stays in again. Yeah, exactly. Switch was very obvious. I'm gonna go for Leech Seed again, get some of my health back, which is not bad. Mm. He has to U turn. Because it's clearly U-turn default. Luckily, it's not bulk up. I'm just gonna go for the uh, Stealth Racks. Stealth Racks will help me. He goes into Mill Metal. Is that thing sub? That thing has to be sub. But again, there is no screens, which is incredible. So I might dedicate my... I'm going to dedicate my Mill Metal into to killing this thing. Again. Not killing, but just not letting it give, get a sub up. So we're just gonna go for Earth Power. Earth Power as he does what? Toxics? He body presses. It does a lot of damage, but that is okay. I'm going to click Hydro Pump here into the Corviknight. Life Orb uh, Hydro Pump is going to do damage. It's might might kill. Doesn't really KO, which sucks a little bit because we don't have a reliable move to hit it. All of these don't do shit, so I'm going to Hydro again. Of course, I'm going to miss. Of course, bro. If I got this hit off, we would have been golden, bro. Mel Metal would have shit on his team so fucking hard. You don't even know. I'm going to bring in Ferro now. My metal is slowly getting lower on health. He decides to go for the Brave Bird. That is incredible. I'm gonna bring in Pelipper. It's time. It's time for the Pelipper as he defogs. Yep, of course, of course. Domlet, you're not making any sort of plays. But here, you're gonna get hit with a fucking hot Bro, can I miss- Can I hit a Hydra Pump, goddammit? Bro, this Corviknight would have been dead two fucking turns ago. Two Hydra misses. Masuda, why are you doing this to me? This game was going so well. So fucking well. I'm getting a little slightly tilted. This might affect the way I play this end game. If I'm getting tilted so much. I'm going to click Gyro Ball here. It does bring in the Diggersby, bro. Oh, incredible. I will take the damage on the Diggersby 100% of the time. Um... As long as I have my Mel Metal really high on health, Nine Tails is not a problem. I might just try to go for Rocks here. He goes for the SD. Interesting play. Um, there's one turn of Hail left. Zerora doesn't die to Quick Attack. No way Zerora dies to Quick Attack. Uh, this dies, unfortunately. Oh, he's Life Orb. Okay. He just tried to kill the, the Ferrothorn. I mean, Zerora is phenomenal right now. Melmetal doesn't die to CC, unfortunately. But if I go Pelipper, that would be not bad. Pelipper covers everything and doesn't l allow him get the hail up. So even if he goes into Ninetales, I might just switch into like Melmetal or something, you know what I'm saying? So he goes into Corvic Knight. I bring in the Pelipper. Bro, I need to hit this Hydro Pump. I'm not sure if Weather Ball kills. Weather Ball is going to be not very effective on Ninetales as well. I need to hit this Hydro Pump. Finally, bro, this Corviknight goes down. Damn it. All these Hydra misses. And I'm still able to uh, pull through. I don't think he can do it with a Melmetal. Metal. It doesn't seem that way. All I need to do is go into my own Melmetal. It sets up the Veil. I don't want the Melmetal to get a free sub. So I don't want to double Iron Bash. I really don't want to double Iron Bash. Is Mandibus is even good enough? Let's see what I do. Pelipper would be nice if I break the sub. I might just sack the Seismic Head. Honestly, I might just sack the Seismic Head. He's gonna stay in, it seems. Actually, no. What if I waste some turns by going for Darkest Lariant? 
No, let's double Iron Bash. Fuck it. He just brings in Mo Metal Raw. Which is an interesting play. Substitute Body Press and Acid Armor. Is that the set? He does Acid Armor, which is a mistake. Bro, Earth Power is gonna annihilate you, dumbass. Not annihilate, of course, but do enough damage to the point where he can't sub. And to the point where, um, Pelipper comes out and just clicks Weather Ball. Or should I Hydro Pump? I think I got a Hydro Pump, honestly. I feel like I do have to Hydro Pump. Weather Ball is not gonna do too much to uh, Nine Tails, especially behind this, the... Yeah. And now, with only Nine Tails alive, Mel Metal beats this guy. So this game was rather, um, it was a little bit problematic with the Hydro Pump misses and stuff, but uh, we understood what the guy is going to do pretty much almost single turn. He didn't every single turn, even though he he was higher by like almost 100 points than we are. That's, that's how, that's showing you how, how low I dropped, unfortunately. Pause. My fucking pause. Mm. That was um. That was still a good game, no matter the uh, misses and all that shit. Mm. I'm going to probably bring you another video with this team. If my medal does not get, well, it should get banned. I honestly don't have enough time anymore. I don't have enough time to make another, to have another battle, unfortunately. Because, um... Because I need to go do some stuff, and I'm also preparing for another stream. Today, um, it's going to be a stream, so check it out. I don't know if this video is gonna go up. This video probably will go up before another two or three videos that I have stacked up. I've decided. So, uh, yeah. In this case, I appreciate every single y'all for coming through. Mm. Again, you'll be able to find this team. It's, it seems to be really effective, especially against Stoll. On stream, we played with this team, and I destroyed a full, annoying-ass Stoll player that was playing pretty well. But uh, I destroyed him in about 20 turns. 20 turns, he got 5 vote with this team. Only Ferrothorn died, and uh, I could have preserved the Ferrothorn in that game anyway. I decided not to, to play it safer. Anyways, thanks for coming through, everybody. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Leave a like and a comment in this video. That would be incredible if you do. Um, I keep forgetting to uh, mention that in the beginning of the video, but yeah, uh, thanks for coming through, I'm Festa.